Hi everyone and welcome back. Today I am going to take you through the latest release by Alte New. They came up with new stamps and new dies for March and as uh, I am an Alte New ambassador, I am happy to receive the whole collection. So I am going to take you through everything today and uh, you will be able to take a good close-up look. As always, they have a beautiful release with gorgeous stamp sets and great dies and I know it's going to be really difficult for you to choose your favorites. Let's start with the 4x6 stamp sets. This is called Sincere Greetings and that's exactly what this stamp set is all about. It's an all year round uh, sentiment stamp set that you can use again and again with beautiful uh, sayings such as thank you, happy birthday, hello, thinking of you, miss you, I'm so lucky to have you in my life. I think a stamp set that you will use again and again for sentiments on your cards. Here's another 4x6. This is called Neighborhood. It gives you a line of houses as well as a road and lovely sentiments such as thank you, welcome, homemade, you're invited and many more. And you can actually pair it with uh, one of the ties that uh, has just been released which is called Neighborhood Home and it gives you this house with uh, windows and doors and a fence so you can mix and match all these ties to customize your own house. Here is another 4x6 stamp set with uh, lots of uh, flower clusters as well as leaves. This is called Focus on You and it gives you lovely sentiments such as Focus on You, You are capable of amazing things. There are also matching dies available if you want to pop out all those clusters. And let's move on to the larger stamp sets from this release. This is called Cross Stitch Flower and hopefully you can see that there is a flower here that consists of four different layers that you stamp one below the other and if you use different colors of ink you will end up with this beautiful result. There are also matching dies available and I'm going to take them out of the packaging here so you can see these dies are not going to cut anything, they are just going to give little uh, dots over your stamp so they it is going to give that faux stitching look and you get the dye that will match the flower as well as the butterfly and the word hello. I really can't wait to try out this uh, stamp set. Now let's move on to this beautiful stamp set. This is called Hope. Another layering stamp set from Alte New where you don't need to color anything just use your ink pads to get beautiful results. There is actually a blog hop running at the moment to celebrate this release and this is the exact same stamp set that I used for my card. Make sure to visit my blog to find out all about the blog hop and you will find a link down below. Lots of amazing designers, lots of inspiration and tons of giveaways. So let's move on to another stamp set full of um, clusters of flowers again and uh, lovely sentiments like miss you and thank you, love you and many more. There are also matching dies available if you want to pop up your flowers. And this is a great stamp set for all of you who love coloring in images. And that was the dearest friend stamp set. And now let's move on to another stamp set that has solid images where you don't need to color anything, just use your ink pads for quick results. So this is where you get lots of flowers, lots of leaves and stems to create your very own flower bouquets or flower compositions. And I think this is a great stamp set for cards where the focal point is a beautiful sentiment, so all you need to do is to just stamp a few of those around the sentiment. Now here is an amazing stamp, this is called Mega Succulent and it sure is mega in size. It has lovely sentiments such as happy, congratulations, I hope your day is, we are so happy for you, anniversary birthday and you can mix and match this to create your own sentiment. And I think this image would be a beautiful flower as well depending on how you color it, it doesn't have to be a succulent. And you can see how big it is, this is a standard sized card. Now uh, this image would be great with this uh, white embossing resist technique and I know it would be great for coloring with your watercolors. So I can't wait to use this as well on one of my future cards. This is the Sweet Rose Bouquet, Alte New at its best, layering flowers again. In one stamp you get four flowers and there are four different layers, so although it looks very difficult to do, it's really quick and easy. There is also a stamping guide at the back where you can follow, so you know which layer goes on top of which one. And of course there are matching dies available. 
And now let's move on to the dyes that have been released for this month. This is the Mandala die, a really gorgeous and intricate design, so much detail here. And remember that there are always so many different ways to use these dies instead of just using the die cut. You can use you can cut out stencils and use them with your pastes or your sprays. Here is another beautiful one. This is called Doodle Dots Cover Die. It gives you these dots and if you take a closer look you will notice that these dots are not perfect. And I love that especially for my art journals. Now this is a very unique alphabet die set. It's called Flat and Fold Alpha Die. And some of these letters actually don't cut out all the way. Uh, they need to be folded in half so you can uh, they can be readable. I'm going to leave it here and let's take a look through the rest of the dies and I will cut out a sample later on so you see exactly what I mean. Here is another cover die. This is called Dotted Scales Debossing Cover Die. It cuts out a panel that's uh, a standard card size and gives you this dotted beautiful uh, scales detail. And here is the last cover die for today. This is called Pegboard Canvas Cover Die. And as uh, you can see, it is full of little dots. Use it as a background or if you like uh, cross stitching on paper, then it's great for that. Now I wanted to show you how this alphabet is going to cut out some of these letters. So I'm going to run all of them at once through my Big Shot machine. Of course you need to separate the letters and not cut them as they are now. But I think you will get an idea of what I want to show you. So you can see that some of the letters just pop out and they are normal letters cut out that you can use on your cards. But for some other ones they are not going to cut out completely and all you have to do is to fold them in half. So I'm going to fold the letter A here and now it is readable. And let's fold the letter M so you can read it now. And here is W. You can mix and match these letters that don't cut out all the way with the other cut out letters for really great combinations and uh, very unique cards. And it's really easy to tell which letters are going to cut out all the way and which you need to fold since there is a green line in the packaging. And these were the stamps and uh, dies that have been released by Altenew for the month of March and you will find links to everything down below in the description area. Don't forget that there is a blog hop running at the moment celebrating this release with amazing designers, lots of inspiration. Make sure to visit my blog to find all about it and join the giveaway. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.